Sweller defines cognitive load theory as an instructional design theory based on our knowledge of human cognitive architecture. To spell out this structural design in a more straightforward manner, there are two different types of memory, working memory and long-term memory. Working memory is used when a student is trying to learn. Three different types of loads associated with the working memory of our brains are intrinsic loads, which come from the learner looking at complex material and trying to understand it, extraneous loads such as distractions, and germane loads which are information being processed into long-term memory. Our job as educators is to try to maximize the germane loads so that our students remember the material. However, sometimes we do not fully understand how to organize the information so that this can happen. Therefore, several effects have been studied to determine how to increase learning. Of all the effects, the one that stuck out the most was the redundancy effect. The redundancy effect occurs when presenting learners with additional redundant information results in decreased learning. I related to this effect because I had always assumed that giving information multiple ways spoke to different learning styles and therefore increased understanding. However, teachers must put thought and organization into adding multiple forms of information. For example, in a study done by Mayer and Moreno, it was determined that providing students with animations can in fact increase their understanding as long as they are mixed with a complementary source. I have experienced the redundancy effect during my years as a student and a teacher. Sometimes when information is presented repeatedly, it is hard to pick out the key element and you can feel like you didn't learn anything. Therefore, when thinking back to that feeling, it makes sense that according to the cognitive load theory, redundancy overloads working memory and therefore creates extraneous load. As a teacher, I try to show information to my students in a variety of engaging ways. However, in the future, I will make sure to be more careful and organize the information so that the redundancy effect doesn't come into play. Thank you.